Hola a todos! Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to take you with us to the shopping mall while we teach you some Spanish vocabulary. Let's get to it! El fin de semana pasado, fuimos al centro comercial de Punta Carretas, una de las zonas más bonitas de Montevideo. Había una sucursal de carrera, una confitería muy popular uruguaya donde venden pasteles, bizcochos y dulces de todo tipo, además de también comida salada como pizza o empanadas. Había una zapatería con un cartel que decía precios de locos, donde vendían calzado tanto formal como deportivo. Subimos al tercer piso por la escalera mecánica, donde hay varios restaurantes. En ellos se puede degustar la clásica parrilla uruguaya, comida china, pizza... Y también está el clásico McDonald's. Pedimos jugo de naranja, patatas fritas, medallones de pollo, y una hamburguesa. Había un cine. una librería Entre toda la gente nos cruzamos con unas monjas Había una joyería con colgantes, anillos y joyas de todo tipo incluidas algunas de amatista una de las piedras preciosas más famosas del país había una relojería con relojes muy caros y tiendas de ropa de todo tipo. En una tienda vendían los clásicos termo y mate uruguayos, que representan una de las costumbres del país. Había una juguetería con todo tipo de juguetes, incluidos bebés, coches y dinosaurios de juguete. Al regresar nos encontramos uno de esos clásicos anuncios fuera de las tiendas. Fuimos a una plaza muy bonita que quedaba en las inmediaciones del centro comercial. Anne se columpió sobre un columpio junto a una pareja que había allí. Había algunas otras personas y algunos perros disfrutando de estar al aire libre. Eché un vistazo a las revistas y periódicos que había en un kiosco cerca de allí. Finalmente nos encontramos con un gato muy amigable que me dejó acariciarlo un poco. First, I say, el fin de semana pasado fuimos al centro comercial de Punta Carretas, una de las zonas más bonitas de Montevideo. Let's analyze this. So, el fin de semana pasado last weekend, fin de semana es weekend, el fin de semana pasado es last weekend, fuimos, we went, 
Al is a contraction of a el to uh, to the a el al centro comercial shopping mall de Punta Carretas of Punta Carretas Punta Carretas is this uh, neighborhood in Montevideo una de las zonas one of the zones of the regions más bonitas prettiest bonito o bonita is pretty so más bonitas the prettiest de Montevideo of Montevideo Montevideo is the capital of Uruguay then I talk about Carrera that's a confiteria here in a confiteria they sell sweet stuff like uh, cakes and pies and uh, I said había I used the verb haber there is there are in Spanish I used había because it's past tense there was and I talked about uh, pasteles that's uh, pies or cakes and uh, bizcochos bizcochos are um, like uh, they are bread that can be savory or it can be sweet usually they are they are sold in in uh, somewhat big quantities like you bag uh, you buy a bag of bizcochos and uh, i also said that they sell also savory stuff they they sell empanadas they sell pizza and for that i said uh, así como también that means uh, also también is also así como también is, is a way of connecting one uh, one idea with the next one in a sentence so uh, as well as also this and i said había una zapateria there was a, a shoe store with uh, a legend that said precios de locos un cartel so cartel is uh, this uh, sign que, uh, that, that said que decía precios de locos precios is prices de locos of madmen of crazy people so they mean that they had very good prices so they were trying to to promote uh, their their shoes and i said that uh, they sold uh, calzado calzado is uh, sho shoes in general tanto formal como deportivo tanto como like uh, well when you want to say that they, that uh, it's one thing and also the other you can use this uh, this combination tanto a como b so both things a and b tanto formal so formal como deportivo as well as uh, sportswear too subimos al tercer piso por la escalera mecánica donde hay varios restaurantes so subimos from subir to go up al tercer piso Al is a contraction of Ael, I mentioned that before. Tercer piso, third floor. Um, donde hay varios restaurantes. Where there are many restaurants. Then I said, en ellos se puede degustar, en ellos, in them. Ellos, ellas, is they, them. Um, for, for masculine, and uh, masculine is also the generic... Uh, gender in Spanish so when you don't know the gender of something or if there is a combination of masculine and feminine then you can use masculine as a sort of neutral in this case so en ellos in them se puede degustar degustar is to try to taste so it's possible to to taste one can taste se puede it's possible like one can do this this is like a, an, an impersonal way of talking about something that a person can do, that anyone can do. ¿Te gusta uh, la clásica parrilla uruguaya? So the classic Uruguayan barbecue. Comida china, Chinese food. Then I said, pedimos jugo de naranja, patatas fritas, una hamburguesa y medallones de pollo. So pedimos, we ordered. Pedir is to order or to ask for something. But, but not to ask a question, like to ask in the sense of uh, asking someone to give you something or to do something for you. If you're asking for a favor, you also use uh, pedir for that. 
So, pedimos uh, una hamburguesa, a burger, patatas fritas. Here in Uruguay, we call them papas fritas. But uh, in Spain, it would be patatas. That's like the most uh, standard way of referring to. So, potatoes, patatas, and fritas, fried, so fried potatoes. And um, medallones de pollo. Medallones de pollo, that's chicken nuggets. The nuggets part would be medallones. Pollo is chicken. And uh, jugo de naranja. Orange juice. Naranja is orange. Jugo is juice. And cine is theater or cinema. And librería is bookshop. Libro is book. And película would be movie if you're interested in, in knowing that word. Then I said, entre toda la gente nos cruzamos con unas monjas. Monja means nun. And uh, uh, entre, entre toda la gente, among all the people. Entre toda, entre, among, toda, uh, all, la gente, the people. Nos cruzamos con. There's a very casual way of saying that you bumped into someone. Nos cruzamos con, like we crossed someone, like we, we saw them. I mean, that's, uh, that's what we say in, in casual speech. That is something we, we use very often. Joyería is a jewelry shop. And I said they sell pendientes, anillos, rings, and joyas, jewels, de todo tipo, of all kinds. Tipo means kind or type, de todo tipo, of all kinds. And I mentioned that some of them were in amethyst, amatista, which is one of the most famous uh, precious stones here in Uruguay. Una de las piedras más preciosas, uh, una de las piedras preciosas más famosas de Uruguay. One of the most famous uh, precious uh, stones here. Relojería is a watch shop. Reloj is watch or clock. Relojes is the plural of that. And I said that they had relojes muy caros. Caro is expensive. So muy caro, very expensive. And uh, I also mentioned that they had uh, tiendas de ropa de todo tipo. Tienda, store, de ropa. Ropa is uh, clothes. So uh, a shop, uh, a clothes uh, shop. Uh, de todo tipo, of all kinds. Then I mentioned termo y mate. Those are things that are very common here. People will put water, uh, heated water, in uh, this uh, bottle that keeps the heat, the termo. And uh, then they use uh, the mate, this, uh, this other sort of thing that's sort of like a, like a cup. And, uh, and they sip it there. They put uh, something called the uh, yerba, yerba. And, uh, and they put it with water and they, and they sip from that. That's very common in, in Uruguay. That's called cebar mate. And, uh, and yeah, this, uh, this shop had uh, that for, for sale. I mentioned a toy store, una juguetería, con todo tipo de juguetes, incluidos, uh, including um, bebés de juguete, so be uh, baby toys. Uh, coches de juguete, so car uh, toys. Y dinosaurios de juguete, of course, dinosaurs, uh, toy, uh, toy dinosaurs. Al regresar, so when we were on the way back, on the way back, al regresar, nos encontramos, we, we bumped across something, or we bumped into something, or we found something, nos encontramos. Encontrar is to find. So uh, we found... Uh, Uno de esos clásicos anuncios, well, anuncio is uh, like um, uh, publicity or commercial or something. So we found uh, this, uh, this sign that was, uh, that was promoting this, uh, the stuff that was sold inside uh, of a certain shop. And it said, envíos a domicilio. Envío a domicilio, that means that they send the stuff to your house. Domicilio is another word for house, but a little bit more formal. It's used uh, in shops like this, like envíos a domicilio. Envío is a delivery. So 
a domicilio means, uh, means to your house. Then they, they said they sold uh, uh, fruta y verdura, so fruits and vegetables. Uh, they sold uh, lácteos, dairy products, lácteos. Uh, they sold uh, pan, I think, bread. And uh, also uh, in, the, in the sign it said... Um, Pedidos a domicilio, that's another way of saying envío a domicilio. So, pedido, like an order, a domicilio, to your house, uh, and then they give the, the phone number. Plaza means square, so we went to a very pretty square. Fuimos a una plaza muy bonita. Que quedaba, quedar, in this case, means to be located at a certain place. So, uh, it's a very informal way of saying it. So... Uh, a square that was located in las inmediaciones del centro comercial. In las inmediaciones de means around the, 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 in the neighborhood of, so around a certain place. In this case, el centro comercial, so the shopping mall. So around the shopping mall. Columpiarse is the action of swinging on a swing. So columpio is swing. So Anne was uh, swinging on a, on a swing. Uh, so playing on a swing. Uh, next uh, to a couple, una pareja que había allí. So uh, a couple that, that was there. Había algunas otras personas y algunos perros disfrutando de estar al aire libre. So algunas personas, some people, y algunos perros, perro, dog, so some dogs, disfrutando, disfrutar is to enjoy, de estar al aire libre. Estar, to be, al aire libre, to, to be out in the open, like in nature, outside, so outside your house. Then I said, eché un vistazo a las revistas y periódicos que había en un kiosco cerca de allí. So, uh, echar un vistazo means to take a look, to take a quick look, it's something informal. Eche, echar un vistazo, to take a look. So, I took a look at... Uh, some of the magazines, revistas, and newspapers, periódicos, que había en un uh, kiosco, this, this kind of uh, little shop is called kiosco, que había allí, that was there. Cerca de allí means uh, next to there or close to that place. So cerca de, close to or next to. Something that's a very, a very common mistake for native uh, speakers of Spanish is that the, when they are using the impersonal form of haber, so the, there is, there are, and they are using the, a plural, so they are using many things. Like in this case, I used uh, revistas y periódicos, so magazines and newspapers. So I said, había, there was, but uh, some people would say, and it's incorrect, they would say habían because they think, oh, it's revistas y periódicos, so we should use habían. But actually, when it's uh, this impersonal form that's only used to describe when there is or there are some things, so the existence of something, then it's always used in, in singular form. So hubo, había. Um, and uh, always like that. Like, I mean, if it's uh, in the present tense, people don't have this mistake because the, the form is very peculiar. It's I. So on that, they, they, don't make, uh, they don't make this mistake. Finalmente, finally, nos encontramos. Again, we, we came across, we bumped into, we found con un gato, a cat, muy amigable, amigable, friendly, very friendly, amigo is friend, amigable is friendly, uh, que me dejó, me dejó, so dejar to let someone do something, so in, in this case, me dejó, so uh, he le it let me acariciarlo un poco, so to pet it a little bit, acariciar is to pet un poco, a little bit, eso es todo, that is all. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It will help us a lot, and I hope we see you in the next one. Bye!